Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at a knife that I've had this thing for a while and I haven't done a review on it. Uh, I've probably had this thing, I don't know, probably three or four months. So it's kind of more of a long-term review, but this is the QSP Pangolin. I think I'm saying that right, or maybe I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, this is a uh, flipper design and it is in D2 steel, which I thought was interesting that they put that on the uh, flipper tab and not on the blade. Uh, billboarding is very light on this, uh, just the QSP logo right there. Uh, it is a liner lock and this does have a, a ball bearing pivot. It does shake shut. G10 scales that are this really nice uh, olive drab color uh, which I, I really like. I think it's it's really neat. You do have your uh, pocket clip here, which is not really deep carry. I mean, it goes to there, gives you a little bit to, uh, to grab, and it is not reversible. Uh, you do have some nice uh, lines in here that does actually provide a little bit of grip. But the way that they've designed this, uh, the handle on it, I mean, it just, it fits in your hand. Let me get my sleeve out of the way just perfect. It just follows that curve. You sit your thumb up on the jimping. Uh, you have your one finger groove there. You have some, some finger swells and stuff that are there. And this just, just fits your hand perfect. Uh, I have used this as a, uh, like an EDC knife. And it's one of the ones that I'll, I'll usually carry a traditional and a modern one. And I'm rotating through my modern ones as I go. And this is one of the ones that I do go to. Uh, just a really super nice, super nice uh, knife. I really like this one. It's been out for a while. Uh, I really like this uh, swedge on the top of the blade. I think that's really kind of cool. You got some uh, kind of a cool, uh, you know, blade stock. It looks like it gets kind of thin waisted here at the at the bottom, you know, with your swedge. Uh, but it really does stay, the uh, the width of the blade doesn't seem like it changes uh, much. What we're looking at here is a uh, three and three quarter inch D2 steel blade. It's uh, basically got an overall length of eight and a half inches. It's uh, 5.3 ounces. Uh, you have the liner lock, you have the open uh, construction, uh, just really a very handy little EDC knife. Uh, I, I really like it. Now, a lot of the uh, QSP blades are named after uh, animals, and the Pangolin is no uh, exception to that rule. The uh, Pangolins, I guess the the easiest way to uh, describe them is that they are scaly anteaters. Uh, and they are kind of interesting animals if you look at them or something. I guess it would be like a, maybe, I don't know if the armadillo is a cousin to them or not, but, you know, kind of like, uh, like that where people say that, uh, you know, the pangolins are scaly anteaters and armadillos are, you know, scaly possums. At least I'd heard that but I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> you guys let me know. Somebody that's a wildlife biologist out there will probably uh, say something to me in the comments, I'm sure. But uh, but if you're looking for a good EDC knife, if you like a, a modern flipper, uh, this one here, I think you could do a lot worse than to uh, than to grab one of these. Uh, really a, a really fine blade. I really like it. Uh, QSP always knocks it out of the park. At least every QSP I've seen, uh, I, I like them. You know, I, I don't think I've met one that I didn't care for. Anyways, that's it for this one. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon.